Major Norris Wright and James Bowie would get into a scuffle in 1826, a year prior to the famous sandbar duel that nearly killed Bowie. Friends of Bowie and Wright would challenge one another to a duel on September 18, 1827. The location was a sandbar in the Mississippi River because Louisiana and Mississippi had recently cracked down on dueling. Right now I'm in Vidalia, Louisiana, standing on the banks of the Mississippi River. Right across the river from me is Natchez, Mississippi. In September of 1827, Major Norris Wright and James Bowie would take part in the sandbar fight right here on the Mississippi River. Now we can no longer see the sandbar due to changes in the river's course and the Great Mississippi River Flood of 1927. The sandbar duel between Major Norris Wright and James Bowie is arguably the single most important event to impact knife culture in the United States. The large hunting style knife that James Bowie would kill Major Norris Wright with on the sandbar that day would soon become known as the Bowie knife around the world. Prior to the sandbar duel, Louisiana knife makers were influenced heavily by Spanish and French style knives. The Mediterranean dirk and the Spanish dagger were amongst the most popular knives of the times, especially in New Orleans as well as throughout the rest of Louisiana. After the sandbar duel, local newspapers reported frequently about the Bowie knife, instantly establishing America's knife making identity. In his book, American Knives, The First History and Collector's Guide, author Harold L. Peterson put it best when he wrote, In the history of American arms, three weapons stand out above all the rest, the Kentucky rifle, the Colt revolver, and the Bowie knife.